Well, the 10 part documentary from A&E about the secrets of Playboy has just premiered and wouldn't you know it, some of the things that were happening behind those closed doors wasn't all the beauty and glamour and fame and empowerment of women that they would have had us believe. And really, the founder of Playboy, Hugh Hefner, could probably be credited for bringing pornography into the mainstream of America. He said he wanted to make pornography out there and available, and he really lived what many would think is the ultimate life. He had as many women as he could want. He had wealth. He had fame. And so some of the questions from this documentary series would be to say, did all of those things satisfy him? Did they lead to joy? Was this really empowering to women? And there's a lot of very interesting quotes coming out of this series that was put on A&E that I want to talk about in this short video. And what do these scandals of what was going on behind those closed doors, what do they reveal to us about some of the truths and lies about sexual freedom, about promiscuity, about restraint and discipline in our sex lives? So there's a quote here from this series from the director of Playmate Promotions, a woman named Miki Garcia, and she said it was cult-like. The woman had been groomed and led to believe they were part of this family. Hefner really did believe he owned these women. We had playmates that overdosed, that committed suicide. And so part of the picture that she paints beyond the glamour was that these women were property of Hugh Hefner. They were used and they were abused. But what do you think would happen to a man like Hugh Hefner if he was given everything he could possibly want for his sexual desires? Would having anything you could want, as many women as you desired, would that lead to satisfaction? Well, in this case, according to this documentary series, the answer is no. Documentary participants talked about Hefner's desensitization, which led to things like bestiality, to watching things like snuff films. But here's the most important quote that I've seen in this entire documentary documentary from a former playmate. She said about Hefner, he scared me at the end. You couldn't satisfy him. He wanted more and more and more, end quote. So there's a philosophical question here. Do we find satisfaction from unrestrained desires, from giving into all of your passions, from having everything you could possibly want or desire when it comes to something like sexuality? Or if we restrain our passions, if we have discipline, if we limit the things that we are allowed to engage in with sexu sexuality, will that actually lead to more satisfaction in the end? Now, I think you can make an example of food. For example, if you eat what Whatever food that you want, the most delicious and rich food in the short term, that's going to be pretty awesome. Long term, that's going to have consequences to your health, consequences to your body. Eventually, it's going to lead to death. And I think we can learn a lot about our sexuality with that example. If we are unrestrained and we have everything we want, it will not lead to the satisfaction that we say that we desire. You know, the pornography industry is kind of like the fast food of sex. They sell this lie that you can have it all. They sell a fantasy, but it's an illusion that will not satisfy the user. And ultimately, it destroys those that are participating in it. We would have loved to think that the playmates in Playboy were loved, that they were respected, highly compensated, that they were empowered, which is a word that our culture loves to use when it comes to women's sexual promiscuity. But don't fool yourself see through the lie. Here's a quote that really stuck out to me from the documentary. I watched girl after girl show up, fresh faced, adorable, and their beauty just washed away. We were nothing to him. He was like a vampire. He sucked the life out of these girls for decades. You see the lie that sexual freedom would actually lead to life, that it would lead to empowerment, that it would lead to intimacy and beauty. It's just that it's a lie. Something like monogamy, reserving yourself for one person, it seems so out of date of our culture, but it promises us more than just instant sexual gratification. It promises us the potential for lifelong intimacy. But so it is with all sin. It promises us life, but it only gives us death. Well, I actually made a recent video comparing the ins and outs, the pros and cons of monogamy to the pros and cons of the hookup culture. And which of those is actually going to lead to your greater satisfaction? I'll link to that video. Definitely check that out. But let me know in the comments. What do you think about some of these comments and quotes coming out of this documentary series on A&E about Hugh Hefner and Playboy? If you want to see more content like this, definitely hit the subscribe. Like this video if it was helpful. This is Jason for Soulfire, and I'll catch you in the next one.